even if you don't know anything about horse racing, there is probably a very good chance you know something about famed horse trainer Bob Baffert. He's a champion horse trainer. He is winner of seven Kentucky Derbies as well and multiple Breeders' Cups. But lately, Baffert has been in a lot of hot water lately for a recent banned substance he used on his horse, Medina Spirit, at this year's Kentucky Derby. That title could even be taken away from his horse. Now, he's only allowed to run his horses here at the Breeders' Cup with security guards watching his horses 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and in unprecedented testing as well. He has not talked with the media very much lately but told me in the paddock before the first race he would speak to me if his horse actually won that race. Well, that's what happened. And I asked him about the intense scrutiny. Here's our conversation. All right. All right. Great, great, right, great. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. You know what? That's actually American Farrell's half-brother. Yes, you told me that. Yeah, so he hadn't run in a while, and I was a little bit worried. He was a little, little heavy, you know, looked like he'd been spent a lot of time on the couch, but uh, he really showed a lot of uh, run today. He's got a big future in front of him, so uh, it's nice to win with a horse like that and mm -hmm. on a big daylight and start it out like that with a win. So. Uh, gives the, the barn an extra confidence, you know, that they're all training well. I'm sure, and you know as well as anybody, you're under a lot of scrutiny this week, a lot of eyes on. You have to feel good after this first one. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, I, I welcomed it. You know, I don't want people thinking that, you know, what happened at the Derby was uh, we were doing right by the horse. It was an ointment. And, you know, eventually when the case, you know, everything gets resolved and everything, but um, it was tough. But you know what? Got to look forward and uh, concentrate and take care of these horses. That's my number one part of my business is, you know, the health of the, of the horse, the care for them. So, uh, but we're, uh, you know, I feel, I feel good. And I'm, I'm glad that the, the Breeders' Cup's here in California, mm -hmm. you know, Del Mar. It's, our, it's so beautiful here. And when people come here, they, oh, they can't believe it. You know, we got the ocean and everything. So this is the place to be in the summer, I'm telling you. This is the place to be for a lot of people. A lot of people enjoying Del Mar this time of year with the Breeders' Cup. Cool as a cucumber, you never would have thought that anything was wrong with Bob Baffert. Uh, not only did he win that first race, his other horse placed second in that first race as well. He's got the favorite here in the ninth race as well. But all is not over with the trouble. Medina Spirit could lose its title for the Kentucky Derby if they do find out that the banned substance was uh, not to be used for his horse. Uh, there he could face fines. He could face further punishments. So all of that will shake out. So coming up uh, at 5 o'clock, we're going to be talking with an L.A. Times reporter who has covered this story extensively and find out exactly what could happen to Baffert if all of the fallout continues. We'll have more from the Breeders' Cup as we continue. Kim, back to you for now. Yeah, through all these decades, Bob Baffert just grins and bears it through good times and bad. Interesting to hear him today. Thank you, Steve.